Hi, this is David Valade with Alta Vista Technology. Very excited to talk about a feature today called AP Automation with Purchasing. Now we have a lot of videos that we have put on our channel or at our website at altavistatech.com that talk about AP Bill Automation. And a quick recap, I won't cover all the details here, but what we've been able to do for some time now is, and you can see a little word right here that says upload, uh, we've been able to upload documents into the bill section of accounts payable within Sage Intact. You can see there's an upload button right here. And I could, if I had in my uh, folder on my hard drive or on my desktop, a bunch of PDFs, that's typically what it is, or other formatted documents, I could drag them here or browse out and pull them into the system. Even better, in addition to uploading, I can also see this recipient email and so on fields up here, which is a hint that we could actually have the vendors email in their invoices straight away. Great functionality. That's just a quick little example. If you actually want to see this in action, we can point you to some other uh, content we have online. But what we have to show today is building upon that technology. So I'm going to come over here and show something a little different. I'm going to go into my purchasing area and I'm going to pull up a purchase order. This could be a lot of different document formats, but for my example today, this purchase order will be perfect. I'm going to take a look at this PO. Let's view this. And let me call out a few interesting things. This is purchase order 75. It is uh, for some subcontractor expenses. And this has been coded. It looks like it's, I presume, 12 hours at $300 an hour. I see that it's for the certain department, for a certain project, and a certain cost code. Now, what's interesting about this transaction is, let's assume that I was putting in this purchase order for a new project that has yet to begin. Now, in that example, I can take uh, this purchase order and I can code it to all of what I call dimensions, all the right dimensions for this particular purchase. This could be referencing different items, departments, projects. If I'm a nonprofit, this could be uh, referencing different grants or funds, perhaps grants that have not even been approved yet. For my construction industries, for whether I'm a specialty contractor or an MEP or whatever I'm doing in construction, I might have a job or project that hasn't begun yet. And I'm putting in this purchase order for future purchases, future subcontractor expenses in this example. Well, Sage Intact has already using artificial intelligence to look at what's come before, to learn as we go, to get smarter and smarter all the time. But in these examples I'm showing here today, I'm, I'm asking us to suppose this is for something that's never before happened. So this project has not happened or a grant has not yet been approved. So I can go ahead and say, I'm done with this. This could be posted. And this purchase order can just be hanging out. Then we get a document. So let's fast forward some amount of time. Oh, and I should say before I leave this that uh, we do have, I'll just point at it. We do have under uh, purchasing a whole uh, PO approval setup. So I can come in here and I can define my approval policies. So maybe a purchase requisition becomes a purchase order. Maybe any, any number of approvals happen to get to this point. But we'll assume that that's already happened and I have an approved purchase order waiting here. And then I'm going to assume that I have this document that shows up. Let's take a look at this. I made this pretend invoice and it's from Lenovo. I put in some information. I'm saying it's for a certain dollar amount. It has a document number. <laughs> Even my PDF reader wants to help me with artificial intelligence, which is hilarious, but there we go. And I can see this document. So what I'm going to do is this could have been emailed in also, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close that document and I'm going to do this uh, so we can all see it. I'm going to go into my purchasing area and there is this automated transactions section where I can upload a document like so. I'm going to drag that PDF right over here from off screen, just like so, drop it right there. And I can see Lenovo invoice, so on and so forth and I'm going to click the upload button. Of course, I'm doing just one, nice easy example for the video here today, but that could have been a bunch and I could just refresh my screen. I can see the state here is analyzing. So I'll give it a moment where the little robots in this cloud here can go to work and they can investigate that document. So the little artificial intelligence can look at the PDF try to find out what vendor it's for, and then try to match it to that document. 
Okay, let's go ahead and refresh to see if everything has sorted itself out. Oh, it looks like it has. So now I can see the state of that uh, document is a uh, draft, and that's always good whenever we use any of these automations. Nothing is posted automatically. It all comes to a draft status so we can review it. And I can see there's a vendor invoice and a document number has been assigned. That's great. So my workflow could be if I had my vendors emailing in their documents, I could just come to this window as I arrive in the morning, have a cup of coffee, and then work through this list. And working through this list is something like this. I can hit edit on that uh, vendor invoice. I could see, great, this is converted from purchase order 75. That is true. I can see that there's an attachment and this is the right vendor. If I click the little paperclip here, it will load the uh, vendor invoice side by side. So I can see, sure enough, that's the right document. And I'll scroll down here and I can see I have my subcontractor item, my project, my cost code, my department, and everything all the way to the right price. Looks good to me. Now, if there's anything else I wanted to add, uh, reference there, any, any kind of correction I think I might need, so be it, I can do that. If this should actually be an AP bill instead, I can push it out to a different place. Or in this case, since this is perfect, it's matched to that vendor invoice and everything looks great, I can just click post. Now I don't have anything left in my draft status. I mean, if I wanted to go see everything that has come before, I sure could. But by just leaving it there, I'm ready to go for the next thing that comes in the door. Quick video today just to show how this enhancement means finance teams can shift away from some of the repetitive tasks like matching invoices and verifying codes and move on to more higher level processes within their organization. If you'd like to see how artificial intelligence and how the automation here in Sage Intech can transform your organization, feel free to give us a shout over at altavistatech.com. Thanks.